Hi everyone, welcome to Crafty Yarn Owl with Darla. I'm Darla. Today we're going to be making this bag base or bag bottom. This is the easiest crochet one I have found. It is so simple. Okay, so it is 10 and a quarter inches from here to here, which is 26 centimeters. And from here to here is three and three quarter inches, which is 9.5 centimeters. We're going to be making four rows. So let's get started. If you're curious about the yarn I'm using for this uh, stitch tutorial, it is called Caron Cotton Painterly Cake. It's um, a limited time only, so I don't know if they actually make this anymore. It's a medium four weight, 60% cotton, 40% acrylic, and the colorway is vanilla wafers. These are the colors that are in this cake, if you're curious. All right, I have a tutorial for this. It's a top, and I'll link it below. Okay, so I'm going to use the yellow here. Hopefully you'll be able to see it clearly on the screen. Okay, so we're going to start off with a chain of 29. This also recommends a 5 millimeter hook. I'm actually using a 4.5 to make it tighter and stronger. Okay, chain 29. I have my 29 chains and then I'm going to make a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four. Then I'm going to make four more double crochets in that same spot. So that first one we did counts as a double crochet. Okay, so one, two, three is what we have. four, five, and six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now we're going to make a double crochet in each of the chains all the way to the end. Okay, one double crochet in each chain all the way to the end. Okay, we did the six in the end, the six double crochets. And then we've made 25 double crochets all the way along right to the very end. Now we're going to add five more to this double crochet right at the very end. So we'll have a total of six, which is the same as what we have on the other end. Okay, we already have one in there, so now this is two. Three. Four, five, and six. Okay, six double crochets on each end. In between these six double crochets, we have a total of 24. So we are going to make 24 double crochets on the other side now. You just go into your next stitch, which is right here. And then we're going to make 24 double crochets. We are finished row one. 
Now you're going to have 24 double crochets on this side and 24 double crochets on this side. We're going to do four rows all together and you will always have 24 on this side and 24 on that side. Okay, so you have your six double crochets and six double crochets at the end of this row one. So you have a total of 60 double crochets. All right, so now we're going to slip stitch into the first double crochet to close off our round. It's nice to be able to go into uh, two, under two loops. Okay, slip stitch. Okay, now we're going to chain three. One, two, three counts as a double crochet. And now we're going to put two double crochets in each of these six double crochets. So you'll have a total of 12. So that chain three counts as a double crochet. Let's go in that same stitch with another double crochet. And then put two double crochets in the next stitch and the next one until you have a total of 12 double crochets. Two double crochets in each of these six stitches. Two, four, six, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, so now we're going to go down this side and make our twenty-four double crochets. So one double crochet in each of these twenty-four double crochets. We're going to go to this end and do what we did over here, which was make two double crochets into each of those six double crochets. So you will have 12 on that end. And then you come up here and put your 24 double crochets along this side. So one in each. And then slip stitch here like we did on the other one. Then you'll be done row two. We're at the end of row two. We still have our 24 on this side and 24 on this side. And at each end, we have 12. 12 at each end. So we now have a total of 72 double crochets. I'm gonna slip stitch into that first double crochet, which was a chain three. It counts as a double crochet. Slip stitch to close off our row. Okay, on to row three. We're going to chain three. One, two, three, which counts as our first double crochet. Okay, into the next double crochet, we're going to put two double crochets. So we're gonna alternate. One double crochet, two double crochets. One double crochet, two double crochets. Okay, one double crochet in the first stitch, two in the second, one in the next one, two in the next one, one in the next, two in the next, until we have a total of 18 double crochets on our end. All right, continue doing that. And then you're going to make your one double crochet into each of these next 24. Then you'll do the same thing on this end. You'll put one double crochet in the first stitch 
two double crochets in the next, one in the next, two in the next. We're at the end of row three. You will have 18 double crochets on each end, 24 on each side for a total of 84 double crochets. Let's go on to row four. Okay, we're gonna slip stitch into the top of that chain three. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. That counts as our first double crochet. We're going to put one double crochet in the next stitch. We're going to put two double crochets in the next stitch. We're going to repeat this. One double crochet in the next stitch. One double crochet in the next stitch. Two double crochets in the next. Okay, repeat this around your end and you will end up with 24 double crochets. And then when you get to your side, you'll make 24 double crochets like before. You're going to do this other end the same way. You're going to end up with 24 double crochets and then you're going to have 24 double crochets along this side for a complete total of 96 double crochets. I'm at the end of row four. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to slip stitch into that first chain three I made, which counts as a double crochet. Okay, so that is our base or our bottom of our bag or purse or whatever it is you're making. And let's get some measurements here. So in inches, it is about 10 and a quarter inches long. Let's see what that is in centimeters. So that's 26 centimeters long. And then wide, it is, let's do inches first. Wide, it is about three and three quarters inches. And in centimeters, that should be nine, about nine and a half centimeters. Okay, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please click like. Actually, clicking like really helps us YouTubers out. It really does. And uh, please subscribe if you enjoyed this and would like more tutorials. I have a whole bunch. I'll, I'll link them at the end of this video. And um, yeah, comment. Let me know what you thought. And share <laughs> to your social media. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all being here. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>